Uh, choose a language. I would like English, thank you. Press and hold any button to proceed. This program produces light patterns that are not recommended for those who suffer from photosensitive epilepsy. This program may sometimes cover sensitive topics. This program does not endorse, promote, or reference actual cults, organizations, or schools of thoughts. These kinds of elements are presented as is, and their interpretation is entirely up to whoever experiences it. By proceeding forward with the experience, you abide by all above points. Okay, I don't think I have epilepsy, but if you do, stop watching the video now, please, thank you. Uh, autosave. Okay, it has an autosave. Content filter. Okay, this is where it gets interesting, because I don't want to turn on the content filter, because I want to enjoy the game as is. Uh, but <laughs> that may require some editing on my part, so... Some content in this game may be considered improper for certain streaming platforms, especially those with strict sexual content policies, so not Twitch. Got him. Going forward without this content filter may compromise your account on such platforms, so you must make a choice to turn it on or off. Turning it on will skip some parts of the program. Choose your preference with the directional pen and confirm your choice. I would like to participate in the uncut experience. Uh, <laughs> so... There we go. Oh, now it's just analyzing the game's performance. Cool, very good. Okay, great. Oh yeah, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I'm playing a game. This uh, struck me as interesting on the Steam store. So I'm playing it. This is Teosita, I believe. I don't know, It could it could be anything. But, you know, Teo Teosita looks like a black metal band logo, which is very cool. Oh, it's just a fun game. There we go. It's just a game about picking up orbs. Easy. Don't worry about all the weird shit on, uh, <laughs> on the sides of the screen. It doesn't matter. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, okay, you can, like, fall down. Uh-oh. Okay, but I can restart the room. Great. Okay, I can look up or down. Oh. The room is different. That might be important for later. Okay, and there's like weird shrieking in the background. Fun! Oh, now there's teeth. Oh, I fucked up. I mean, I fudged the popsicle. I popsicle fudged. I want YouTube yelling at me. Okay, now we got like more eyes everywhere. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Starting the game now. Welcome. We offer our deepest thanks for your interest in our metaphysical analysis program designed to conduct experiments in extrasensory perception, subliminal eff effective, effective, effectivity. I wouldn't it be like efficacy, uh, whatever. Logic ability in response to audiovisual stimuli. In order for the experiment to be fruitful, it is of utmost importance that the state of your consciousness allows for complete expression of your actions. Therefore, we do not recommend participation in the program if you are anywhere near your exhaustion threshold. Some themes covered in the program may cause discomfort to a number of users. Please be aware that each and every element has been carefully crafted as an intentional part of the experience. That's why I didn't want to turn any content filter on. Uh, alright, and then we got, uh, we got this happening. So on the Steam page, it said this game, uh, tests your... Uh, your clairvoyance somehow. Also, that it is not a Metroidvania. This game is not a Metroidvania. Our doctrine is lost in the obscurity of this cycle. Okay. I can hear the cries from my children and the whips and roars of their relentless torturers. It is necessary that we return. And you are the manifestation of my will. Okay. Well, great. Conquer seven principles and expose our nature. Penetrate the mundane realm of the flesh and bring the matriarch to the children who take solace in her. Grant them the bread and milk of our gnosis. Grant them our strength. 
and so shall you return to my arms, but not before I pass my judgment on our torturers. I don't know what that means, but okie dokie. Oh. Okay, and here we are. Oh, look, the baby skeletons, I think. A game by Vikintor. Collaboration, Lune. There we go. That's a title screen right there. <laughs> okay, and like a big shaking, uh, double, double headed, uh, baby skeleton, I guess. I don't know. Hard to say. I did it. The seal has been broken, though it is still much too early to celebrate. It is but a matter of time before our presence is made known. It feels like this place has changed little through the eons. Tis certainly nostalgic. Even the energy wading through the surroundings, though faint, still calls for me. How much I would like to simply bask in this place and return it to its former glory. Unfortunately, we have no time to waste. We must unite all seven and reach the realm. This is my will, as well as the will of our great mother. Was that the thing talking to me before with all the eyeballs? I don't see anything sexually suggestive about anything on the screen. Especially on either side of the screen. Okay. Well, uh, oh look, there's Baphomet. I remember, guys, this game isn't promoting any kind of... Any kind of, uh, cult anything. There's nothing culty about the game, okay? And how you perceive it is how you perceive it. And not necessarily how they intended it. Okay, we got a big eyeball guy over there. Then we got a door over here. Uh, okay, cool, great. It doesn't look like I can get up there, so... Uh, that might be a later, uh, door situation. Okay. The neophyte ventures into unknown deep waters, his initiation a secretive ceremony in a temple built from the bricks of his own wits. Okay. Oh, cool. It's a fun door. <laughs> okay, it didn't like that. All right, mentalism. My first challenge. Ugh. Okay, we're just it's just a regular platformer game. Easy. Oh, probably should just go through the door. Gotcha. Press X or B to generate a totem. Only three may be active at once, and they will fall apart over time. It's possible to accelerate by holding Y. Well, there we go. I can make a totem. Okay. This ain't so bad. Ah, I've seen one of those before. The symbols seek not to occlude matters, but bring them to light. They are the gates to the subconscious, bringing the manifestation of the will into the concrete world. Yeah, it's like how letters let you read uh, and understand somebody's thought, I guess. I don't know. Boop. This music is kind of cool. What is above, but the same as what is below? That being true, what below is the same as what is above. Okay. Aha! This is a this is a thing that was in like a NES game. So I just need that to go up. Boom! Bingo. Okay, here we go. Now we got a puzzle. Oh, I died. Okay, avoid the spikes. Easy. Uh, gonna leave a totem over here. And then I can make it go up. Aha! And then I can make it go down. And now the door is open. Man, I must be psychic. Or I did literally up to this room before I started, just to make sure I could play the game. The Earth, intelligence manifested into the material world within the possibilities of the laws of physics. Okay. Oh! Oh, 
Well, that's a new one. Okay. Well, uh, looks like I can go in the door. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. So what if I leave a totem there? And then I do that. Yeah, okay. I got you, game. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there's a big eyeball, too. Okay. That's a little scary. No big deal. And right through there. This is fun. Okay, the red thing. Okay, so my totem isn't doing shit. Okay, and we got a claw over here. Okay. So how do I get over to that thingy? Hmm. Because I can't get through here. Hmm. Okay. Really got a really got a, a puzzle room here. Oh, wait, here we go. I got it. Put the totem over there. And that opens that door. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now I got it. Totem here. Boom. And now I can go through the door. Easy peasy. Okay. Candidates to the initiation undergo a path of tribulations in order to prove how suitable they are to keep their commitment. Okay, I will do that. Oh, is that dicks? Just ignore the dicks. Oh, what the shit? Uh, okay. This is a... <laughs> am I doing a boss fight? <laughs> what? Hmm, okay, well. Uh. Huh. Oh, I'm actually doing some damage here, I think. Kinda hard to say. <laughs> Hey, just ignore the thingies coming at me all the time. No big deal. Put my totems down. This is not a Metroidvania. Okay. Oh. Is that good? Uh, successful insertion. Okay. Oh. Oh. Matriarch, hast thou come for me? Oh, am I the matriarch? Is that what I am? Verily have I come for you and for your siblings. Okay. I beg thy pardon, for I cannot kneel before thee, as thou may see my strength fails me. Also, I have no arms or legs. I do not wish that you kneel before me, like lowly souls who kneel before their stone idols. I have come solely for your principle. My truth is shared with thy nature, mistress. However, on the path of the neophytes, thou shalt only be granted the bread that feeds the children in the temple of life. Surely I have not much to offer thee. As the original conveyor of our philosophy, I make it a point to follow the path as much as any initiated would. If thy will it is, then I shall be happy to fulfill it. My principle is the truth of the mind. May it prove useful in thy journey. We and all that we imbue are manifestations of this principle. We are the mind, as well as the sparks of the pl 
The Pleroma? I need to look up Pleroma, I guess. Uh, from which all powers descend. Nothing in other realms begins before the mental realm. Look at me. I have no physical existence, but I can manifest as an idea in thee, as the result of a mind. Our understanding of nature and the actions that shape it to our will are limited to this principle. We need to understand and act with this key. This is the first of the seven keys to the temple. Much obliged, my child. I ask that you await my call in the main chamber. As thou wishest. Great, I did it. I got the key. I have conquered the mind realm of the mind. Okay, this time I need you to do something different. I want you to tell me the symbols from five cards in a row. Try your best to feel the cards. Okay. The objective here is not to be correct, but that you attempt to do it. So I get to finally live out my fantasies of being that kid that, uh, that Bill Murray shocked at the beginning of Ghostbusters? Okay. Uh, square. Oh. Oh, I just get to pick one of these symbols. Okay. Uh, I'm feeling... I'm feeling water. Water man. Uh, and they could be all the same, right? I mean, who knows? It could be water man, water man. And I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling plus sign. Now I'm thinking star, the sun. And, uh, ooh. Ah, how about square? Hmm, I got one. I got one out of five. One combination. As as mentioned before, do not worry about the results. You did what was asked of you and concluded the test. Let us continue with the program. Huh. Let me know down in the comments how many you got right. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess that was world one. Easy. Now, oh, okay. Nope. Oh, that was just like... Okay, that was a, a fun thing I should have known about. There's like an eyeball here. Oh, but there's like another eyeball. Is there like a secret path or something? There's a secret I didn't get. I can tell because there's one eyeball that was it wasn't there before. Okay. Let me try to figure it the frick out. What does that do? Can I do anything with that? Um. Oh no, I didn't want to do it all over again. Shit. Can I go back to the main? Yeah, go back to Sanctuary. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I might do that on my own time. Now I need to find level two. That's a door. These are doors. That has a key on it. I wonder if that matters. I, I don't know. My video game guy brain says I just need to find number two. But number two is locked. Okay. Good to know. Maybe I need the key room. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Is that, that, and that, and that. Okay. Did that change? Huh. Interesting. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I think it was a C. Here, let's go back and look. I want to match this one. Okay, backwards C, regular C. And then like a 7. Okay, backwards C. Regular C. 
Seven. And what was the last one? Uh, oh, full, full circle. Gotcha. Did I do something? Did I do anything for you? Huh. Hmm. Oh, we have another one over here. Okay, maybe I need to do them in some kind of sequence, maybe? Okay, so I'll do... U O O U. We'll try that. O U. I do anything for you? I mean, he's got like blinking red eyes. I don't know what that <laughs> is. That indicating something to me? Okay. Well, we'll try this one. What do we got? Uh, N N C. Backwards C. Okay, so N. N. C. And backwards C. Okay, I just... All I see is the red blinky guy. I don't... Did I do something? Did, <laughs> did any of that do anything? Or should I leave? Okay, maybe maybe I go in here. What do you gotta say? Uh, okay. Your pursuit shall be fruitless. Go back and bother us no longer. The monarch has no time for your petty disturbances, although he is kind enough to forgive your misdeeds should you decide to abandon your cause. However, if you are as sinful as they say, you shall feel the punishment for your imprudence. Are you a martyr of the Patriarch? Does imprisonment not bother you? What else would I need for my subsistence other than protection of the monarch? Freedom without this condition would be the truest of prisons. Okay, well, that was good information I got from that. Okay, so I... So you owe you. You owe you. We'll just try it again. You O O You Look, he's blinking. He doesn't like that. Is that right? U O O U. Yeah. Huh. And I tried the top and the bottom one, too. So... I don't know. I think my brain not good enough for that puzzle. Maybe there's a different room I can go into. Uh, great. I just have to remind myself this game is not... A Metroidvania. Oh, there's another key room. The mysteries represented by teachings passed on through rituals and symbols, the language of the initiated, assimilated in accordance with their ascension to the ignorant, nothing more than elements devoid of meaning. Okay, can I get a key, though? I'd like a key. Um, okay. Well, there's a key room over that way, too. Oh, random door. Oh, if it's not my favorite iconoclast. As I understand it, you are here to pervert our dogmas, topple our statues, and destroy the foundations of our master's dominion. Not even our sacred art would be spared by your adamant uh, intransience. Do you take pleasure in destroying our identity? All statues raised by your kind are nothing more than violence disguised as art. You rewrite history and honor our torturers. The climax of my iconoclastic performance 
shall be as iconic as the stones carved with the faces of your overlords. I should have imagined you are not willing to teach your children civility, are you? Civility is but a tool to enforce ruling power. The Patriarch shall not be merciful while watching the destruction of what he created. He is nothing but a mere usurper. Nothing he ever created was his own. He may be able to buy time, but my arrival to the realm is inevitable. It would be best for him to accept this simple fact. You may be right that we are powerless to stop you, but even if you do reach the realm, the limitation of your cloak of flesh will still be there. You will not be dealt with lightly by your enemies. I am aware of the risks. I sincerely hope this is not a goodbye so we can meet yet again under different circumstances. Okay, great. So, I know, I know you. We're friends. Ooh, hello. Return after conquering five principles. Okay. I mean, I need, like, keys, I think, for that. Much like any symbol, words are elements that vibrate at different frequencies of power. Okay, no, I kind of got that. Symbols are like letters. Whoa, what the fuck? All right, well, this is certainly a room. Uh, what's, <laughs> what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Great question. Uh, Matriarch, I beg of thee, only thy gnosis may free me from this nightmare. Far and wide have I searched for purity, finding it nowhere while forced to chase it in a lifetime of abstinence. However, the feeling of my own impurity does not fade away, and my own thoughts betray me. I loathe who I am, for I will never attain holiness. Enforcement of purity is veritable perversion, as those who celebrate chastity indulge in secret orgies. Ah. What? <laughs> Recall the path of the neophytes that we walk, and the disruptions that lead us to the truth. Recollect that we are the spark forced to be in a place where flames cannot be ignited. You must not be lured into the schemes of those who conspire against life. This purity you seek has never existed, but the illusion that it does has certainly been of benefit to someone. Oh, how could I possibly continue on without thy words? You must not be impulsive, for words may simply be in vain. We took the flames of Hestia but were unable to carry it to the lowest realm. However, you must be sure that those who guide you into that abyss of ignorance shall receive no sympathy from the Great Mother. My deepest thanks, O Matriarch. May luck be on thy side. Uh, so I did it, right? Good, good job, me. I did it, I guess. <laughs> okay, what about this room? Oh, it's a scary room. Oh, I don't like that. Can I look up? Can't look down. I can't look up or down, okay. This feels like one of those rooms where if I turn around I'll be I'll go back to the door. Boy, that noise is really upsetting and I don't like it. I'm gonna, can I leave? What if I can leave? Oh, okay, there we go. Huh. Interesting. I still haven't gotten a key. And I need a key to get into the second, uh, whatever. The second thingy. But I need a key. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Which one is this? This is number four. No can do. Ooh, key room? Oh, that did a thing. Ah, okay. Maybe I go one, two, three? That didn't do anything, though. Should I know how to do this, or, uh... Because it feels like it, it wants me to do something. But I'm not 100% on what, uh, what it is. Okay. 
So that doesn't do anything. I mean, this is a very satisfying sound or series of sounds, so I don't know. Is there some, some sort of clue I should have before going in that room? Oh, another key room. One of these I gotta be able to do. I gotta be able to do one of them. Oh, this is just like a noise room. Okay. Okay, another key room. I gotta be able to figure out a room, you know? Oh, boy. Uh, huh. Okay, three moons. Uh, this one's got yellow on all of them. Maybe I do the yellow? And then what? We got the blue key-looking guy. I mean, the male symbol. I know what that is. I got it. I don't want to just hit buttons at random, because that doesn't seem like what the game wants me to do. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. I, I thought I did a thing. I didn't. I do like that noise, though. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll come back. I'll come back to that one. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, there's like a four... Like a chair and a slash mark. Should that mean something to me? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Huh. All right. Interesting. Okay, and this is number five. I, I don't, have I don't have the other ones yet. So, uh, was this a baby room? Uh, I think I was in here already. Yeah. Okay. I'll come back to that too. Okay, number three is over here. Because I found two at some point. At some point, I found the, the two room. I think it's up here? This is the two room. Okay. This is the two room. Uh, but I need a key. I need a key... But all these key rooms are fucking hard as shit. Okay, I'm seeing like a thing up there. And it's like a... Maybe I do the opposite. I'll do the opposite. Okay. So, what are we looking at here? So, just the one mark at the top. Empty. Empty. One mark at the top. I don't even think that's an option. It isn't. Okay. Well then, uh, what if I go N-O-N-O? -N -O? I'll try that. N-O... N-O. Nope. Okay, but what if I, what if I do that? No, still not that, huh? Well, there's you. And you. No, still not that, huh? Um. Uh. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to come back next week and try to try to improve my brain logic so that I can get a key and keep playing the game. I'll see you for that then. Bye.